Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to see a small example on how to use or how to retrieve the user location and the related weather information for the user in Maui Blazor applications. Okay, so if you already have your Maui environment configured, you will be able to create the default template for the project, right? And you will get a similar structure like this, right? Okay, so uh, a similar structure like this, I'm sorry. Okay, where you will get the cross-platform application, right? And you will get the Win UI application. Okay, now one of the things that you may need to know is that we need to remember that Maui Blazor or that Maui is the next evolution of Xamarin and Maui Blazor basically uses Maui, right? And we can, we have access to all of the Summarizing essentials, which are now under the um, Maui namespace. Okay, so that means we have access to a lot of codes and services that already existed for summary and summary forms. So, in order to get the geolocation, one of the things that you need to do is, for example, if you are going to get it for Android, you need to add the permissions in your um, project, right? In the Android folder, you need to go to your Android manifest.xml and then you need to add the um, location permissions, right? I do not know exactly which ones it need, so I just copy the ones that were in the, document, in the documentation and add them all in there. Okay. In the case of Windows, when you go to your WinUI project, you need to go to your Windows folder and double click the package dot appx manifest and once you open that file you will get this um, screen and you should go to capabilities and select location in here so that will um, allow your application to request the location information Okay. Now, the other thing that you need to do is you need to um, create your service, right? The code that you will be using to get the location information. I haven't changed the name, but this one is actually now it is it is generic it uses it works for everything so let me check location service so location service it implements the i location service right the i location service is basically just a signature that will request cancellation token right and will return a geo uh, value of your coordinates type an object right so what do we do we take advantage of the summary essentials or maui essentials now right and we request the location basically we use the geolocation request right then we get the location right if the location is not null we will return the um,
we will return the geocoordinates with the given data that we retrieved in the location object, right? And then if you want to handle the exceptions, you will uh, put the code that uh, whatever you need to do or whatever you want to do when you get an exception, right? If for some other reason the code is here, we just return null or we can throw an exception, right? Um, but throwing exceptions in mobile applications, um, I'm not sure that's really good, right? Because we try, we need to, um, we need to make sure the application does not crash. Okay. Now, what I did in this case, I created two Blazor components. They are named or suffix with the word card, right? We have a location card and we have a weather card. The location card is basically a bootstrap card that will display the latitude and the longitude after it has retrieve it. So basically you see that on the component initialization we get the location right and then we invoke this event handler passing the location information. This event handler is an event an event callback so you see this is an event callback that will receive geo coordinate type right as parameter and it will have this name so where are we using that we are using it on our index code you see the index page and you see that here we have a, um, a container with a row and multiple columns right and we have here the location card and the location card is using the uh, the setting what do we want to do with this on location retrieve which will basically invoke this so the location card will, will automatically request for the current geolocation right and when that call is successful it will use this event callback that will invoke this method this method is the one defined here. We can put another name if we want. I just like to name it the same. This method is the one defined in here. Now, the only thing that is that, that did, the only thing that it does is set the location. Location equals to these coordinates, right? This location is this variable in here. Now, check this. This location is also bound to the weather card. The weather card has a bootstrap card that shows. This one is duplicated actually. Phrase. Temperature. And. Oh. Yes, the temperature and the unit, right? Now you see that it has a parameter, geo coordinates location, right? It is an Azure Map service that this is from our PTI microservices library, right? Um, the version for .NET 6 hasn't been published yet. I am using some local uh, deploy packages, but we will deploy it soon. Okay, so you see that I am using the on parameter set async, right? So when the only thing that it has as parameter is this. So when there is a change on this variable, it will execute this on parameters set a sync right uh, since it has changed we will retrieve the location again for the given coordinates right and then we 
render the values. And if we run the application, we will see a small demonstration on how it looks. So you see it's loading in the geolocation, right? Now it found the geolocation and you see that then the weather card was loading, it retrieved the information, and you see that in here we got the weather information. For this location, it is partially part, partly sunny and the temper, temperature is 23.5 Celsius. Right. So that's a small example on how you can use um, geolocation and retrieve the weather information in Maui Blazor applications. Now let me run this for the Android um, The Android version. Now something that you need to be careful with when you are developing these types of applications is your um, your font size right because if you see for example in here in this device the application looks extremely extremely small right so you need to be careful on how you um, implement your uh, your application right you probably need to start using media queries if you are using the uh, only blazer right probably media queries and some custom uh, classes right to be as responsible as possible right and in this case for example in in this layout um, it, it might not be the best way to show this application actually uh, we do not want to have this on the left side probably probably we just want to have like big pack big cards or big icons and things like that right uh, it depends what you want to do it, but yeah, we need to, for example, for a device like this, we need to show things bigger. Good idea. So it's deploying the latest version for that application, right? You see that here it still says deploying to Nexus 10 on the bottom left. And you see that it's still deploying. So let's give it some more time. Something that I have found uh, is that sometimes the deployment actually just holds and do, does not do anything. So you have to cancel the process, sometimes even kill Visual Studio and then restart it. Uh, hopefully they fix that on the official release, right? Currently, I am using Visual Studio 2019 with the .NET 6 Preview 5, right? So, um, there are a lot of things that uh, do not work really well yet, right? But it's understandable because it is on preview. Okay, so yeah, it seems it's still deploying. So yeah, if it doesn't 
um, do it fast, font use, actually, okay, uh, yeah, so you see that it in there but it seems it hasn't really deployed like this version and yeah let's close this and let's try to stop it yeah see I did that build cancel and my Visual Studio is it says is now not responding right so there are things that still need to um, to be improved, right? Yeah, okay, I'll stop the video here and in the next video we will continue working with um, more Maui Blazor applications. Thank you very much, I hope this video has been useful. useful. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and share the videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.